uh, 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 SEO tribe. Uh, Mr. Hoppy lived in a small flat high up in a tall concrete building. He lived alone. He had always been a lonely man, and now that he was retired from work, he was more lonely than ever. There were two loves in Mr. Hoppy's life. One was the flowers he grew on his balcony. They grew in pots and tubs and baskets, and in summer, the little balcony became a riot of color. Mr. Hoppy's second love was a secret he kept entirely to himself. The balcony be uh, immediately below Mr. Hoppy's jutted out a good bit further from the building than his own, so Mr. Hoppy always had a fine view of what was going on down there. This balcony belonged to an attractive middle-aged lady called Mrs. Silver. Mrs. Silver was a widow who also lived alone, and although she didn't know it, it was she who was the object of Mr. Hoppy's secret love. He had loved her from his balcony... For, for many years, but he was a very shy man, and he had never been able to, to bring himself to give her even the smallest hint of his love. Every morning, Mr. Hoppy and Mrs. Silver exchanged polite conversation, the one looking down from above, the other looking up, but that was as far as it ever went. The distance between their balconies might not ha have been more than a few yards, but to Mr. Hoppy, it seemed like a million miles. He longed to invite Mrs. Silver up for a cup of tea and a biscuit, but every time he was about to form the words on his lips, his courage failed him. As I said, he was a very, very shy man. Uh, 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 he kept telling himself if only he could do something tremendous like saving her life or rescuing her from a gang of armed thugs if only he could perform some great feat that would make him a hero in her eyes if only Uh, the trouble with Mrs. Silver was that she gave all her love to somebody else, and that somebody was a small tortoise called Alfie. Every day, when Mr. Hoppy looked over his balcony and saw Mrs. Silver whispering endearments to Alfie and stroking his shell, he felt absolutely absurdly jealous. He wouldn't even have minded becoming a tortoise himself if it meant Mrs. Silver stroking his shell each morning and whispering endearments to him. Alfie had been with Mrs. Silver for years, and he lived on her balcony summer and winter. Planks had been placed around the sides of the balcony so that Alfie could walk about without toppling over the edge, and in one corner there was a little house into which Alfie would crawl every night to keep warm. When the colder weather came along in November, Mrs. Silver would fill Alfie's house with dry hay, and the tortoise would crawl in there and bury himself deep under the hay and go to sleep for months on end without food or water. This is called hibernating. In early spring, when Alfie felt the warmer weather through his shell, he would wake up and crawl very slowly out of his house onto the balcony. And Mrs. Silver would clap her hands with joy and cry out, Welcome back, my darling one. Oh, how, how I have missed you. It was at times like these that Mr. Hoppy wished more than ever that he could change places with Alfie and become a tortoise. <laughs>